Let's do a blind hem on the Foff Passport 3.0. So the blind hem stitch is stitch number 10. And when I select the I button, I can see that it says foot number three, which the blind hem foot has the little red marker and the adjustable guide. It also says to make sure my dual feed is engaged, and that's because the little dot that's sitting next to the three when I press the information button. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. Now, next thing is, is to fold our fabric. So a blind hem, first off, you go ahead and fold up for the new hem. So go ahead and press that fold in, and then you're gonna work the, the fold back. We want the stitch to bite really small into this fold, and then it'll do stitch, 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 and then bite, stitch, stitch. Well, the only thing is, the machine doesn't know what fabric I'm using. It could be thick, it could be thin, so that bite is technically, um, it's set with the width, but I'm gonna adjust the guide to make sure that I'm getting the exact setting for this stitch. So the first thing you notice is that the needle is over here on the right side. But if you go ahead and take one stitch and notice that the needle jumps over to the left. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna sink the needle into the fold of my fabric. So I might lift up the presser foot, move the fabric so the needle is just gonna barely bite into it. And once I see where I like it, then I can notice that the guide has a little gap in here. So sometimes I actually lift the presser foot up because it's a little easier. But now I'm going to just twist this knob or screw and I'm moving the guide closer to the fold. When I lower the presser foot down, now I can just guide the fold of the fabric that I can see at the top here, right next to that red guide and we'll have nice even stitches. All right, we'll see how we look. So when you're done, this is what the stitch is gonna look like. You can see I got just a little bite all the way across. And if I had used matching cream thread, those stitches would have disappeared. That is how easy it is to do a blind hem uh, with the blind hem foot and stitch number 10. Now, if you are working with any stretchy fabric, notice your stitch number 11 is for the stretch fabric, and they'll have a little give if you need to go ahead and pull along that edge. Love the fact that both stitches are included and that this foot is adjustable for any thickness or thinness of fabric that I'm working with.